What's up everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. So as you already know by now, I did not vlog basically this week and I have a really good reason why. I've just been so busy with birthday festivities and hanging out with the family that it was gonna be a little too overwhelming for me to vlog and then edit the same night, get uploaded the next day, as well as I don't know if everyone else is comfortable being on camera so I just decided not to vlog anything and just keep everything sentimental and private. Lots of it, birthday festivities happened and today is the last day of birthday festivities and then we have Christmas next but I should be good now. I think this is when my December starts to slow down. But anyways, today's gonna be an exciting video and we're gonna be talking about my everyday jewelry collection that I wear every single day i wanted to share everything with you in case you know you want to build your stack or you want to get some ideas of what you can add to your jewelry collection or if you want to give something to someone i'm going to share all that with you and for me i'm a huge jewelry person just because growing up my dad used to own a jewelry store for almost 20 years and my family as well we've always loved jewelry it's always my grandmother oh my gosh she loved jewelry you have something on you my grandmother would go up to you and like take it from you like oh can i see it oh okay she'll put it on and then she'll just walk away my grandma loved jewelry my mom loves jewelry my dad loves jewelry and we're just a jewelry family. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. And first things first, we're gonna start off with my favorite, which is rings. I wear these rings all the time and I'm a very balancing person when it comes to rings. They have to balance themselves out. My rings have to look, they have to look a certain way for me to feel satisfied and they do. Starting off with my right hand, this is my Cartier Love Ring and this is in the original size. This is in the rose gold color and I also have it right here in the wedding band. I wear that on my middle finger and stacked with the wedding band from Cartier, I have these two separate pave rings that's from Jewels by Joanne and I used to wear these two rings on my thumb but I've lately just been wearing it with my wedding band right there just to change it up a bit they are just really dainty i have one in rose gold and one in yellow gold they held up so well i think i've had them for like a year now i've had some scary times where i thought i messed it up or i lost a diamond but knock on wood it doesn't happen so far so good and then moving on we have my tiffany i think this is called the diamond by the yard ring the diamond always flips over it's supposed to look like this but it always just turns on my hand and just flips over so it's just a chain ring that i've just accepted and then here on my thumb this is one of my newest rings that i got i think i got it like a month and a half ago this is from james avery and if you're from texas Everywhere you go, you will see someone wearing a James Avery ring, charm bracelet, necklace. It's so famous here in Texas and I think they've expanded out to other states too. But this is a gold ring. I think this is the Athena band. I think that's what it's called. And I just wore it as a thumb ring because I wanted something to wear here. And I love the way it looks. Like, I, I just love how my, my hands are coming out. <laughs> And then onto my left hand, we have my engagement ring. We have my wedding band right here, which these two are from Tiffany. And then we have my ore ring, which I did do a review on it. And I'll link it here, somewhere up here. If you wanna know what this is right here, it's just a health device that tracks your sleep cycle. And it does a little more than that. Kind of like how an Apple Watch would be, except for Apple Watch is more like fitness when you're working out. Whereas this one is a little more focused on your health and telling you, okay, your body is kind of tired like take a rest that's what this ring is for and then we have this ring right here which is a tiffany ring as well this is a roman numeral ring and it goes all the way around it has some diamonds on it and i think this ring is actually discontinued i couldn't find it on the tiffany store and i don't know if they make it anymore but i did get this from tiffany years ago like i think 2016 time i don't remember when but it was a long time ago so that's what that is there and that's all that i wear for rings these are the rings that i wear all the time i don't really switch them out so that's what you see on me now we're gonna move on to my wrists my bracelets and i'm a big stacker person that's just me i love to stack that's my style there are some people who think it's too much for me 
I want more. <laughs> I want to stack some more. So I'm not quite done yet, but I'm almost done stacking. We're going to start with my right hand. Right here, I got my three love bangles. I got the white gold. I got the rose gold. I got the yellow gold. And then right here, I have this bracelet that my mom gave to me like a few years ago. I just wear it with it. And then I also have this Cartier Justin Clue nail bracelet. And this is in the small size and it does have the Pave diamonds on it. I decided to get the ones with the diamonds just because it looks a little nicer in my opinion compared to the all plain one. If I was gonna get a plain nail ring i don't think i would have been as satisfied especially since my bracelets they're pretty simple so it kind of just adds a little bling to it so i got the one with the pave and then right here this little stretchy bead i think it's from the brand alexa lee i'll make sure i link it down below but it's just a gold filled bracelet i think it's gold vermeil actually one of the two and it just stretches i just wear it with everything because i really wanted to get a bead bracelet but i wanted to test it out how it will look on my stack so i decided to go with this one and just see how it is and i wear this bracelet 24 7 i shower with it i swim with it everything it's still like there is no fading on it and it's gold vermeil or gold filled it's really amazing so this bracelet just held up really well it's a really great quality bracelet i highly recommend this if you're wanting to try out like a beer bracelet and you want to see if you want to add one to your collection or just to get one period this one is really good and you can stretch it too guys like you can stretch it too and it's not gonna break and i want to test my limits and then the last thing on this right wrist is my stephanie gottlieb pave bangle which i got last year it's just this bangle that i do love i do get questions about it got it from stephanie gottlieb so that's what's on my right wrist moving on to my left wrist now i consider this side my bangle side and i consider this side like the regular bracelet side we're gonna start off with my van cleef bracelet right here this is in the onyx one and i did do a video on this too so i'll make sure i link it somewhere up here and it's just the onyx stone i wear it 24 7 and then i have been getting questions about this bracelet right here lately and this little dainty tennis bracelet is from ring concierge and i like this bracelet a lot it's just very dainty and it doesn't have a traditional clasp but like normal tennis bracelets it's kind of like a lobster clasp and you can adjust your sizing but it has a cute little heart right there and it's just really adorable very dainty the pricing on this is amazing compared to regular tennis bracelets that start off like 2000 3000 and just go up higher this start off is about i think like 1200 if i'm not mistaken and you could even get one that's like a half eternity one this one is the full one that i got that's just what it looks like it is in rose gold and then right here we have my rolex watch uh it's just a simple rolex watch now we're gonna move on to my necklace my necklace right here is my cartier love necklace and i actually want to do a review on this someone asked me if i can do one and i do i am gonna film that in the future but i wear this 24 7 i don't think i've ever taken this necklace off it's been on me since i got it and if i did take it off i think it was like once or twice just to clean it but i really don't ever clean this necklace i haven't cleaned it in like over a year it still looks perfect and i i love this necklace so much this is what joey got me i think like a couple years ago a few years ago i love this necklace and it's always gonna be on me so lastly we're gonna go on with my ears and i have been in a big obsession with curating my ear stack i finally got my third hole pierced and i had my third hole pierced like 12 years ago it got infected so i had to get them taken off i was just so much of a big baby to get them pierced again but i finally took the plunge got them pierced back in july and i am super happy they finally healed too which is the good thing because it took a while for them to heal they just kept getting irritated at least this side this side kept getting irritated this side was like the beauty and the funny thing was when i got my ears pierced like 12 years ago my third hole this side was the complicated side so it switched off on itself but i'm gonna put my hair up so that way you can see my ears better let me put this clip on okay i'm not gonna be able to see so hopefully you can see my earrings but this little hoop right here is from baby gold 
and it's just in the rose gold color <laughs> and then the second hole that i have is a stephanie gottlieb pave earring and i think this is in the regular size one because they have this size and then they have a small size this one should be the regular one and then the third hole is actually from the brand Porter Lion. I just found out who they were just by googling things because I've been looking at Maria Tash. I've been looking at I don't know, like Etsy, other places that I can't remember off the top of my head. But Maria Tash was like one of the top ones that I wanted to get earrings from. But for the price point and for how big the earring was, it just wasn't worth it to me. So Porter Lion is actually fairly priced for what you get compared to other brands and so i decided to go with them and it is real gold it is diamonds and they do have like gemstones and all but i got this little dainty diamond earring that goes right there and it's in the flat back so it's not a traditional butterfly earring and this one is in the 6.5 millimeter so in case you're kind of wondering what it is what size it is because that's something that i was struggling with because i have no clue what size to get because i'm used to butterfly earrings the back and the regular earrings kind of like this idle one i got the 6.5 it fits my third hole i do have thick earlobes just keep that in mind but i feel like my third hole should be normal size anyways around the earring that i have from my first hole to my third hole i have this chain right here this chain is from the brand idol and it has two diamonds on it and one cool thing about this brand is they use sus sustainable diamonds they're lab grown diamonds so they're very eco-friendly you don't have to have that diamond conflict that some people just don't agree with but i have been really obsessed with the brand idol lately i love how like my ear is looking with them i really want to curate more ear stock with their products and they even have necklaces as well which i want to try out next time this is from the brand idol right here my two ear cups they're not real conch piercings guys that's one thing about me when it comes to piercing my cartilage that's a no-go for me i would never pierce my cartilage just because i'm a huge baby when it comes to any pain and i don't think i can handle the pain this is just the ear cuff and this is from the brand majuri this is in their 14 karat gold they have a gold vermeil one and they have a 14 karat one this is a 14 karat one it just goes right here and then this one right here is also from the brand idol and it's their power cuff i think that's what it's called it's one of their new ear cuffs because they came out with two but this is one of it and this one's actually in the rose gold color in case you're wondering all my idol pieces that i'm wearing are all rose gold in case you're wondering what, I, what color i chose that's the ear cuff this is the ear stack i really want to get a faux cartilage piercing just to put right here cartilage ear cuff and I found one Etsy. I just don't know if I want to take the plunge yet. We'll see. But moving on to this ear. This ear right here on this first hole is from Idol. And it's actually three separate earrings. We have a stud. And then we have a jacket around it, which is the halo. And then right here, we have this add-on, which is an emerald diamond as well. That just goes around and it... I love the way it looks. This ear was like took the longest for me to curate it and figure out what i want it to look like this year is just perfect but this year now i finally love how it came out that's all the idol right here and then my second hole is the other half of the baby gold earring same as my first hole here and then my third hole here okay guys so i don't know what happened to my audio so I'm just gonna continue and just have this video right here be on the like one of the screen somewhere on the corner because my mic which is weird is actually working right now it wasn't working this morning and it was giving me problems that I had to refilm my like clips three times because the mic just kept cutting out and I had no clue during this part when I was actually filming and it was going great the whole time that it just cut off so we're gonna get on with it anyways so I'm talking about my second hole, I believe. The second hole is from Baby Gold, just like my first hole. And then my third hole, that one is from Porter Lions as well, same as my other side. It's just a three diamond earring stud. And then my little ear cuff that I have on with the chain, 
That one is from Idol as well, and it has a chain that's connected to the ear cuff, and I just connect that to my first hole. So I am just showing you like my ear stock, just being appreciative, and I, I'm i just blabbering right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. And at this point, I really, I really don't know what I'm talking about, guys, but if you have any questions whatsoever, Leave them in the comments down below or feel free to DM me. I will be happy to reply back to you and to just answer any questions you have or answer any comments or read any comments from you guys. But I am so sorry that this happened. I really don't know what's going on with this microphone. Like I'm looking right now at my viewfinder and it's working. It's working perfectly fine now. So... I'm hoping I don't need a new mic. I do have an extra mic that I use when I go out, but I, just, I don't know guys. So sorry for this. This is a very inconvenient thing, you know, especially coming back from having a little Vlogmas break. But yeah, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But anyways, we're gonna get on with the video now. Anyways freezing out guys it's 50 degrees outside and it's cold i have a jacket in the back i just want to put it on the car but we just got dutch bros and i got a salted caramel joey's actually walking with it right now and i'm excited to try it so we're gonna do a taste test in the car Special delivery. thank you It feels so warm. On the way here, we were going to Black Rock and we went to three different locations to see, like, why, wondering why they were all closed. And on the third one, we were like, oh, because they have a company party. But we ended up getting Dutch Bros. And let's do a taste test on this coffee. Let's see. Can I put a straw in here? No, I don't want to put a straw in here. I'm scared. But it feels so good and warm, guys. We're gonna try it. Ooh. I'm still nipping. It's good. Try this. Mm -mm. It's good. Mm -mm. It's good, babe. Later when it cools off. Actually, it's not bad. If you chug a lot, it's gonna be hot, but Sipping is good. And it just feels so good because it's hot. It's like warm on your hands. Don't do a big cup now. What is it? Salted caramel. This is good, guys. If you ever go to Dutch Bros, get the salted caramel hot. It's gonna be good. Or just get the caramelizer. Can't go wrong. Joey loves his caramelizer. Ice. Yeah, I'm surprised you got ice too. It's ice. freezing out. Ice. What are we gonna do now? Go home. What? <laughs> we went out just to get coffee and go home? I actually do have to pee. <laughs> Charlie! Yes. Charlie, come here! Wow, he does not love me. He don't love me. Charlie does not love me anymore. I feel sad. We have come to Target with the Madre. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. I really like the way these two vases are. These two vases are really cute. Charlie, come love me. Come 
Sorry, Charlie. Come say hi. Hi, my love. Hi. Oh, bye. Bye. Alright guys, I am going to be ending the vlog here. The mic seems to be working so far. I turned off the camera. I turned it back on and it's working still. So hopefully this mic was just a one-time malfunctioning kind of thing that happened and won't happen again. But I am going to end the vlog here because it is currently 3.31 in the morning and I gotta get ready for bed soon. So... Thank you so much for each and every one of you that has stayed tuned to my videos and that has stopped by and I really appreciate every one of you guys and thank you so much for everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your year that we have left in December and in 2022. But anyways guys, I'm gonna end it here. So good night everyone. Victoria.